These data are from graphite or diamond samples and what we would like to do is see if we can work out a deparameter for these OJ spectra. That is to say we want to differentiate these data and then work out the separation of the maximum to the minimum for these these peaks. So if we just do a differentiation using a Svitsky Golay then we end up with a lot of noise but the idea is to work out this type of distance here so we're looking at 22 for this graphite sample but we can do better than using the differentiation or using Svitsky Golay if rather than using a polynomial of degree 2 to approximate the data when we try and work out the derivative we can create a background type which will use a polynomial of, of higher degree so it's the polynomial regression type and it uses the cross-section parameters or at least it uses the first one to provide a degree for the po polynomial that will be used to fit the data and you can see how well this polynomial is fitting the data by looking at the residual and if I restrict the range over which the polynomial needs to fit the data I can see how the residual improves as I shrink the interval and if I just get this right then I come up with a residual standard deviation that would be characteristic of pulse counted data which has been combined from a multiple detector system so it's less than one so this is now a reasonable approximation to the data and having done so I can use an option on the test data tab which says differentiate synthetic envelope and when I press that button I end up with a derivative and where the synthetic envelope has been defined we get a a well-formed derivative compared to what you're seeing here with these correspond to where that no ap approximation was there therefore you've got the differentiation of the raw data hence you see the noise and what we can do is create a background type here let's just turn off the residual and adjust the region limits so that it targets the data that have been differentiated nicely and then we'll use the SP background type and it will then indicate two points here that's the largest maximum intensity there's the minimum intensity and the difference between these two lines will represent the D parameter and it's 23.4 so this is graphite we can go back and look at a diamond rather than the graphite so this will do the same exercise again we will create a polynomial regression type it's still got the same cross-section parameter in the first parameter so that's the degree of the polynomial and again we can adjust the region limit so that the approximation and that's a, a fairly good approximation of the data perhaps a little bit more than you you might expect but it's within the region of what you would expect for these type of data so having done so let's put these two together in fact let's overlay them so we can see both of these that now have a region where there's a synthetic envelope that has been calculated from this polynomial and when I say differentiate a synthetic envelope I'll now get two VAMAS blocks one for each overlaid in the active tile let me go back here and I'll just propagate the region that I'd previously previously used for the SP background type. And again, I'll just turn off the residual so it's clear. And let's display both of these. So you can see now we've got 13.6. This one is 23.4. So this is a graphite and this one is the diamond. 